Hello Cancer and welcome to your April 2022 Committed Love Reading or Relationship Reading. Relationship Love Reading, I guess I should say. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you, Cancer, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, for your um, comments, for all your energies. I appreciate all you guys. So thank you again so very much. All right, Cancer. Anything you need always is in the description below. Let us get started on your reading now. I'm going to do an overarching energy for both of you. This side will be for you. This side will be for your partner when I do the reading. But this is going to be for both of you. And technically, the reading's for both of you. It's just different sides. If you do have more than one partner, you will have to discern who that is. Or check their signs to see. All right. We have two of thought. Interesting. Two swords. Ten of thought. Hmm. And three of action. All right. Wow. I love this beaded mat, but sometimes the cards stick on it. Okay. We ha have the two of thought. So this is a card of your thoughts, your uh, communication. This is where you are not, or they are not, or both of you are not wanting to communicate. It's almost like something needs to be said, Cancer, and neither one of you want to say it. Um, it could be you both are thinking the same thing, but nobody wants to, to voice it. You don't want to face what you need to face. This says your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward and you have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. It's like, you know, I almost feel like you're not wanting to give each other the time of day right now. You're not wanting to... Um, you're not wanting to be together because if you're together, you have to talk. And if you have to talk, it might not be pleasant. We have the Ten of Thought, which is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is an ending. It is being done with something. It's a completion. Um, it can be a hurtful energy because it was not an uh, easy place to get to. So the situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her own addictions or codependency issues. Hmm. I see this more as... Um, now, you all could have endured a big hurdle in the past... It could have been a loss of a loved one. It could have been a loss of something in your past. It could be some hurtful energies. You could be processing it. You might all you all might not know where to where to go with this or how to go with this, how to move forward from this. But you have the three of action. So this does talk about movement forward. This does talk about um Making your mind up and, and taking action. Since things are working out beautifully, now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your success or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Um, I don't know for sure right now if I was, you know, until we pull the cards. So you are either overcoming a situation that has been very hurtful to both of you in the past and you don't really know how to handle it. And maybe you don't want to see it. But one or both of you would have put action in place. Have put movement in place. Have put, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? A plan in place. So I don't know at this point. Let's pull more cards and we'll see. Oh. 
or they're going to fall out on their own. Sorry about that. Oi. Four of Wands. Card of Celebration. Card of Stability. Eight of Swords. This is your side. Eight of Swords talks about feeling stuck. Feeling stuck in your thoughts. Eight of Pentacles, very interesting. Again, another Three of Wands card. This tells me this is more on your partner's side that they have made a decision. Four of Swords and the Fool. Bottom of the deck energy, Six of Wands. So there's victory here. There's there's a there's something you're passionate about, or something that you've been trying to overcome, or something you've been trying to um, secure. And there's victory here for whatever this reason is. We may see in a little bit. What I'm seeing, honestly, on your side, you have the Four of Wands and the Six of, or I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. Four of Wands talks about stability. I'm feeling that you feel that maybe you feel secure. Maybe you feel stable in this relationship. Maybe this is something you want to build on. Or I'm feeling like, you felt that way coming in. Maybe you thought it was secure. Maybe you thought it was something you wanted. Maybe you thought it was something you could build on. And then you started second guessing everything. Uh, maybe actions and words didn't work. Maybe passion fizzled. Eight of Swords energy is feeling trapped. Feeling caught. Feeling stuck. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is... Willing to put in the hard work. Willing to put in the hard work to work yourself up to where you want to be. Um, I almost feel like this is stairs and you're, you're getting out of this. You know, eight is a number of um, power. Taking back your power financially. Taking back the power of your thoughts. Maybe trusting yourself knowing you're the stable energy. Maybe you're separating. I don't feel like you see eye to eye with this person. I don't feel like you, you are on the same page with this person. Again, with these two cards, the Ten of Swords and the Two, two of Swords, there's some type of ending. There's some type of um, being done. And really not wanting to face it. But plans are being made for the future. And your partner has three of wands here. So your partner's making plans for the future. It's almost like they don't want to wait around and see the outcome of it. I don't think either one of you want to face what you have to face. And this has got to be faced. That's why it's in the middle. You have got to talk about this. You have got to decide on this. I don't think either one of you are happy. Your partner is moving toward growth. They're moving toward expansion. They're moving toward what is going to be better for them. I feel that your partner feels this relationship is exhausting. I feel like your partner feels that this relationship is mentally draining them. And they're ready for a new adventure. They're not, they're done the same old, same old is what I feel or what I hear or what I keep feeling is that they're ready to just, bolt is not the right word. But they don't want to face it. They, they don't want to have to tell you. They don't want to talk about it. 
Pulls a card of newness, new beginnings, new adventures. And I feel too that they feel like if they're on their own or they're out and about or they're doing their thing, they feel alive and they feel validated. And then they come home or they, they do their day to day and it drains them. And they're like, I've got to get out of this. I've got to make a plan. I've got to get out of this. And, you know, you all need to talk. Communication's hugely important. And you feel very stuck. You feel very um, uh, caught. A lot of times the Queen of, or the Eight of Swords is about your thoughts. Overthinking your thoughts. It can be fear. You know, I feel almost like you have that stable energy. It's like, I've created this. I've created the stability. I've done it. They haven't. I have. So why should I wait around? Why can't I build, you know, I've been doing all this myself. Why can't I just get myself out of this? You have a victory card here. To me, it's a movement. It's victory. It is winning. Getting what you want. Getting what you want. And I think once you all talk about it and decide about it, the energy's there. The energy's, you know, through the roof, really. But it's getting to that point. It's funny because, you know, this is a committed reading. There's no hearts here. There's no love here. Just saying. Your partner wants a new start, new adventure. It's like they want to go out and see what they can see and do what they can do. And if that's the case, if they want to go running around and do all the things and don't want to include you or don't include you, you know, something needs to come to an end. You all need to talk. Or separate. Think about it. All right, this is a challenge for you and your partner. Again, you got the Four of Wands. It's your card right there. The challenge for you two is maybe, maybe to try. Maybe to try to find the passion, try to find the fun, try to find the enjoyment that maybe you once had. You know, maybe that's car, that card is asking you, have you tried? Have you all tried? Or are you just throwing in the towel? You know, there's some type of victory here. Four of Wands could be a celebration. So the challenge could be maybe even trying to get past this in order to deal with your life. This could be a wedding coming up. This could be a, a bridal shower or a baby shower or something that maybe you all need to be at together or do together. And maybe you need to get past this in order to move forward. Maybe that's a challenge. It's like, well, let's just get past this, whatever. Wedding coming in. And then we can deal with us. Let's be us until then, and then we'll deal with us. Action you all need to take together. Cancer. April 2022. 
committed love reading. Look at that. I love when they repeat. Eight of Pentacles. The action you all need to take is You know, Eight of Pentacles is working hard. I just feel like if you want this to work, you both need to work really hard and, and put in the, the work that you both need to, to do to make this work. It's going to be hard work. The action is hard work. The action is a lot of re repeating, repetitiveness. But it's also is if you want it to work. It's the action you take. Eight is power. You know, really get down to earth with it. Really get down to the nitty gritty. And what do you all want? Talk. Communicate. I also see, again, if you're biding your time and trying to get past some big event that you all need to be together with, then the action you need to take, again, is going to be hard work. It's not going to be, um, even if you're splitting up, it's going to be a process. There's a lot to go through. Either way. All right. Yeah, that balance, bringing in the balance. We have uh, effort. Like I said before, if you want to keep this going, if you all want to make this work, if you want to give it a go, it's going to take work. It's going to take effort. It's going to take um, the balance, the yin and the yang. It's going to take both of you coming together not just one person one person can't make this marriage work or this relationship work or this union work one person can't do it one person's pretty much out the door one person stuck in fear one person knows what it takes what it needs to get this up and going and one person is drained by it One person already is making plans for the future, and one person's going, wow, you know, there's stability here. I can make this happen if, if, um, you know, I think it's a realization, though, that you're the one bringing the stability to the relationship. Cancer. Alright, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah. Again, there's deep hurt here. You have the Ten of Swords. There's deep hurt here. And there's also not wanting to talk about it. These are your, you know, overall cards. You have to pay attention to those. And... You have to, um, I'm almost feeling like the time leading up to whatever the celebration is or whatever this is going on, you really have to pay attention. You really have to see because I think your partner's actions and words are going to speak. I think your partner's actions and words are going to speak as to their true intentions. I think that's a period of time to watch. Well, there's two that's coming out, so I'm taking them because they're stuck together. Oh, we have engagement ring. 
And we have keys on a ring. Interesting. Many options, decisions, unconventional string along one night stand. Again, their actions. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, or union. Um, what I have to say about these two cards is that, again, I just feel that their actions will speak volumes if you pay attention. And you don't want to be one of. You don't want to be one of the keys on the ring. You don't want to be one of their choices. You want to be their only choice. And sometimes in a relationship, when things are going bad and they feel like you might leave or they're thinking that you might leave, they might want to commit more, even though they're not wanting to commit more, if that makes any sense. It's like, well, I'll keep them if I marry them or I'll keep them longer if we get engaged. And it's funny because the first thing I noticed on this card, and it's not, but I thought, because it's far away, I thought it was a wedding dress. And I thought, you know, they're leaving or she's leaving the church. It's like the, the marriage didn't happen is what I feel. So I feel there's some deception here or, and deception is not the right word. I, I just feel like there's a dishonesty maybe. And they're not being on the up and up. But again, bide your time, whatever this event is that's coming up, you'll know by the end of this event if you watch and pay attention to the signs around you, pay attention to the red flags, pay attention to your gut. Really try to see them as a person and not a partner. Try to see what's going on behind the scenes. All right. You know, I wish all the readings were rainbows and unicorns. This isn't horrible. This isn't done. But there's a lot of work that needs to be happening in order for you all to um, have that trust. I think there's trust that's been broken. And I think it's on their part. And I just think they need to be very honest with themselves about what they want. As do you. where the effort comes in all right cancer if you like this reading um, I do weekly readings I, I post on Saturdays every Saturday for each sign so there's 12 readings going out on Saturdays there for the week ahead so if you're interested in that please subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you won't miss it when I do post um, they're shorter readings again they're just the energies of the week ahead they're about 10 minutes or so, 10, 12 minutes. So they're kind of a little jump start to, to your week. And um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Good luck to you. I'd love to know if this resonates, please. And um, take care. Be blessed. Until next month. Bye for now.